Alrighty guys, uh, great Tuesday, good to be out here. Very important for us down the stretch here as we get ready to start Fresno State prep to get these couple extra days of competition and going head ahead as we prepare to make a, a depth chart next week and, and really uh, get ready uh, for the opening game. Um, so you know I've had the opportunity uh, to meet with Graham, our offensive staff, sit down and make a decision as far as the quarterback goes. Uh, we've had 30 practices, both 15 and um, 15 in spring and 15 in camp, and, and we feel confident where we are right now and felt like we needed to move forward uh, and allow more reps uh, for the, the guys that are going to be in the one to two position. So we're going to name JT uh, as the starting quarterback uh, for the opening game uh, versus Fresno State, uh, followed by Keaton, Matt, and Jack. Um, all four men, I've never been in this situation, I said that Saturday, to have that four quality quarterbacks on one team is very rare. To watch them compete in a first-class manner, to not be afraid of competition um, is special. And then for how they handled it, obviously there's disappointment, but the way they handled the day and came back out here and came to work and, and were such great teammates speaks volumes to the men that each and every one of them are. So um, we'll move forward uh, and uh, get another important day tomorrow. So with that, I'll take any questions that you have. In what ways did JT suffer himself? Nice. Um, for us, it was just the consistency that he had over 30 practices. He was consistent day in and day out in, in doing his assignments and making the plays and, and moving the team. How much was just that a factor of experience? just having seen him for that whole time and knowing yeah. what he can do. Well, we came in, we came into the process and said, you know, it's not going to be about age, you know, or who's been on the field. It's going to be about how people play and how people compete on a day-to-day -day basis and execute the offense and, and how they do it consistently. And, and JT did that. Um, I, you know, the competition was fierce and, and there were guys that had brilliant days. Uh, you're talking about four quarterbacks that could play, you know, anywhere. And, um, you know, so to have those four guys compete uh, and to see JT uh, do what he did was very impressive. Uh, and we're very fortunate to have the others here because um, you know how it is. You're one play away from having to go to the next guy. What kind of a key into number two? Um, again, his play uh, over a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you know, um, it, we went in and, and said that it wasn't going to be about age or where you're from. It was going to be about who was the most productive. And um, you know, we were we were very surprised with Keaton coming out of the spring. Very impressed. Um, we went through this camp, another 15 practices, to just see if it wasn't you know just you know, just spring. Uh, and he did it again. Um, and you know, what was really neat about the whole process is to watch every quarterback improve. And I thought they put on a show Saturday. I mean, just what each one of them did uh, was uh, was a credit to them and that type of atmosphere in front of our fans. Um, they each one got better from the process, and, and I'm, I'm glad for that. How did Jack and Matt handle this? Um, obviously, they're competitors, and, and you know there was disappointment, um, but they handled it, it so first class and, and class act. And, you know, like I told them, I, you never know. Uh, I don't have a, a crystal ball. You don't know what, what's going to happen in the future. Uh, what you have to continue to do is progress as a quarterback, um, continue to get better, um, and, and make them get ready for your next opportunity, whenever that might be. And they did that. They came out here, they practiced their butts off, and, and they will continue to prepare for that next opportunity. What kind of leash will JT have? Um, you know, uh, quarterbacks always, and I've said this a billion times, you, you know, you, you, you get away from a quarterback position because you either get hurt or there's a lack of production. Uh, I don't like people, you know, looking over their shoulder. Uh, I like them to be able to play. You know, we've had 30 practices to be able to look at this, and, and obviously, you know, if a quarterback gets hurt, the next one goes in, or if there's a lack of production over time, uh, another quarterback's got to go in. It's mock game week. Any changes the way you practice today, or basically uh, you've got the way you practice and you're just going nah, right to it? We, we went full pads today. That was the plan. Um, you know, we have two shells practices coming up. That was the plan. Uh, we're going to go Friday, um, and uh, Thursday will be a little bit of Fresno State. Friday's going to be a little bit of Fresno State. Saturday's going to be a little bit of Fresno State, as well as as well as doing some mock game situations, some specialty situations that you have to get to in games, kick after safety, uh, you know, different scenarios, uh, onside hands team, things that you know you don't really concentrate heavily on in camp. Now you're getting in now, so those specialty situations we'll get in those uh, on Saturday. I know you talked about how happy you were that you did the 
competition yeah. throughout this time. <coughs> how have you seen that help JT, or how do you think that will help JT going forward, having gone through that? Yeah, I, I thought it helped all four quarterbacks, you know, really raise their game. But I, I really appreciate how JT came into it, understanding that, you know, that's real life. You bring a new system in, there's competition. In the, at the, at, when you play college football or NFL, there's competition every day. You know, it's not just, it's not just, uh, it's every 24 hours you're competing. Um, you, you know, so the, for him to walk into it very humble, um, very um, uh, business-like, um, and just show up to work every day and put his best foot forward uh, was very impressive. Um, and and he earned, he earned the job. Um, and and uh, it was neat to see him uh, really after a year to see his maturity even grow and lift. Do you have a message or challenge to him with the one area you want him to keep striving to get better at? Yeah, you know, I told him now that he has the job, continue uh, continue to fight for a job. That's what real life is about. You know, you show up every day, you know, even in the NFL right now, they're, they're making their final decisions. But that keeps on going throughout the season. And, and you always got to learn that, you know, it's about how you produce and how you produce over time. And, and don't get comfortable. Don't get stagnant um, just because you've been named the quarterback today. Continue to raise your game and raise the others around you. Was there much debate with you and Graham about the one through four? Uh, no, we were right on the same page, not only myself, Graham, and the offensive staff. We, uh, we were all on the same page. I know the reps help and the experience helps, but where else have you seen kind of JT evolve? this camp as opposed to last year? Um, I really, I, like I said, I really like his humbleness and his business-like attitude. It was kind of a shut-up-and-work attitude and, and not take anything for granted. Um, he knew he had three really talented guys right there competing with him, and he never took it for granted that, he, you know, I've had success in the past in, in this game, uh, but rather I need to raise my game to, to earn and fight for this job. Um, and that's where I've seen his maturity grow. Um, and um, He did a wonderful job, I think, within the system from his accuracy, his decision making, getting the ball out on rhythm, um, and just being consistent every day. Did you guys make any decisions at quarterback? Uh, we've only made decision at quarterback. Uh, I'll give those to you on Friday before the game will be the rest. As far as injury updates go, it looks like Vivai returned and Kevin mm -hmm. was out today. Uh, yeah, so uh, Vivai, you know, has had the has had the little knee sprain, and we we got through that. You know, we were protective with him yesterday. He got he got about half the reps today that he normally gets. We're easing him back into it. Want to make sure that he's completely comfortable, and he is. He's fighting. He's fighting for more. Uh, but we were, we're being really careful with him uh, right now. He'll get more tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and uh, he looked really healthy today. He looked very good. Um, who was the other gentleman? Definitely. Yeah, Devin's got a, a little bit of a, um, a quad contusion bruise uh, that's gotten really stiff on him. Uh, he's day to day. Uh, I'm hoping to get him back tomorrow, Thursday. With, with the vi on the shelf for a little bit, it seemed like he got a, an extended look at Marquis' step, especially. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about him over these last two weeks? Uh, I wouldn't want to tackle him. <laughs> I mean, he's a load at, at 230 plus pounds, and, and I tell you where he's probably progressed most in his game is catching the ball out of the backfield. He realized coming into this system that. That that's part of the deal is and you know he, he did a really nice job along with he saw that final little scrimmage area you know even in all those kids did a f phenomenal job Stephen Carr did a wonderful job out of the backfield but I, I think probably his most progression has been uh, his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield. Let's go one more. Has he earned a bigger role than maybe he had coming into this match? Uh, who keys? Step, yeah, yeah I, I really think that his role is growing. Uh, he, you know, and, and definitely he's going to play this year. He's going to contribute. Uh, you know, these last couple of days, in about week and a half, will decide how we go into the first game. But you know, to have to have a, a, you know a Stephen a Vi a Keese, I mean, th those guys are those guys are special dudes. And to have three of them together, that 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 depth. Saves you. You know, at some point in time when you're carrying the load, you're going to get banged.